welcome back this is rakesh naik today we are going to discuss about some example on regular expression but before we start a small information i'd like to share in this channel we produce every video in two different languages hindi as well as in english and if you want to watch this video in hindi kindly follow the link given in the description and if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel so let us start in our previous video we have discussed about regular set and regular expression in this video we are going to take some examples of regular expression how to generate it there are several ways of generating a regular expression this video is just a glimpse to give you a feel of a regular expression by now you know what is a finite automata and we'll try to see a finite automata and from there we'll try to derive a regular expression we need to design a regular expression over e input symbol 1 and that accept all string of any length it means it's supposed to accept epsilon 1 1 1 1 1 and so on and if i want to design a nfa for it it will look like this it means the initial state becomes a final state because epsilon has to be accepted by it and there can be any number of ones it can accept so you can see this is nothing but a clean closure operation and for clean closure we can say the regular expression can be one star let us take one more example design a regular expression for one which accept all string of length at least one it means accept epsilon all the string the strings that is accepted by this language will be like this 1 1 1 1 1 1 like this and if i want to design the nfa for it it will be looking like this so you can see it is nothing but a positive clean closure and positive clean closure we know it is denoted by 1 plus let us take one more example design a regular expression over 0 and 1 so that it accept string 1 0 only so the string that is accepted by this language is 1 0 and if i want to design a nfa for it it will look like this i'm taking the help of nfa because i believe that you know what are nfa it means there are two transition i am having and for the first transition i can take one and the second transition is zero and on that i am using a concatenation operation what is concatenation operation i hope you know when we discussed about operations on dfa and for this the regular expression will be 1 0 only let us take one more example we need to design a regular expression over 0 and 1 which will accept these strings the strings are 0 1 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 0 it means it will accept either 0 1 0 or 1 1 1 or 1 0 0 and if i want to draw a nfa for it it will look like this i have not gone details into the nfa but these are my transition that are possible with or operation it means i have to do the union operation for union operation i use the symbol plus when i am using a regular expression for union plus is used so this is the regular expression for this particular language let us take one more example design a regular expression over 0 and 1 that starts with 1 and starting with 1 the string that are accepted are these if i want to have a nfa for it it will be there is a transition on 1 and after that anything else so it means what there are two transition i am defining one is here and one is here for a loop means 0 plus 1 star and for one i am writing one again between these two there is a concatenation operation and the regular expression will be looking like this one and 0 plus 1 star let us take one more example 
design a regular expression over 0 and 1 that ends with 1 and 0. So the strings that are accepted by the languages are these. You can see here the strings are end with 1 and 0. And the NFA that I can design for this particular language is this one. Here you can see there are three transitions. Here there is a loop, here there is a transition and here there is one more transition. And if I want to write, I know for a loop I write 0 plus 1 star. And there is a transition here on 1, there is a transition here on 0. And I use concatenation operation. So the regular expression is 0 plus 1 star. 1 and 0. Let us take one more example. I am designing a regular expression over 0 and 1 in which the second last character is 0. So the strings that are accepted by these languages are this. It means from the right the second character is 0. So I can have 0 or 1 as the last character then 0 and before that anything else. Here also I can have the last character 0 or 1, before that 0 and before that anything else. So the NFA that I can design is like this. From the last if I want to see, this transition may take either 0 or 1. Before this transition, according to the question, it's supposed to be 0. And before that, any string on 0 and 1. So there are three different kind of transition I can find here. The first one is a loop, that is 0 plus 1 star. The second one is 0 and the third one is 0 or 1. So as I have already told you or we can represent with the help of plus symbol. So the regular expression will be 0 plus 1 star 0 and 0 plus 1. Let us take one more example. Design a regular expression over 0 and 1 such that the string accept string length exactly 2. So these are the strings which are possible with string length exactly 2. And the NFA that I can have is this one. So there are two transitions I can have. The first transition is between Q0 and Q1 and the second transition is between Q1 and Q2. So for 0, 1 I can write 0 plus 1. For this 0, 1 I can write 0 plus 1. And there is a concatenation operation between these two. So I can write 0 plus 1. This is concatenated with 0 plus 1. This is the required regular expression. Let us take one more example. Design a regular expression over 0 and 1 that accepts string of length at least 2. It means the minimum string length it should accept is 2. So it means I can have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Then after that anything else may come. So the NFA that we can define for this language is this one. It means there are three different transitions we are talking about. One transition between Q0 and Q1, second transition between Q1 and Q2 and third transition between Q2 and Q2. So I can have 0 plus 1. For this I can write 0 plus 1 and for the loop I can write 0 plus 1 star. So the regular expression that will accept a language containing string length at least 2 is 0 plus 1, 0 plus 1, 0 plus 1, star. One last problem we will do now. That we design a regular expression over 0 and 1 such that it accepts string of length at most 2. So the maximum string length that is accepted is 2. It should accept epsilon, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. These are the string that is accepted by this particular regular expression. And the NFA that we can design here is this one. So Q0 is the initial state as well as final state. Q1 is as well as a final state and Q2 is also a final state. It means with zero input also, it's supposed to be getting accepted. With one input also, it's supposed to be getting accepted. And with second input also, it's supposed to be getting accepted. It means there are two transitions we are having. The first transition is epsilon 0 and 1. Why epsilon? Because the initial state has to be the final state also. So that's why we are writing epsilon here. And here also we are writing epsilon. 
you can see when we we'll concrete these two epsilon here and epsilon here we can generate epsilon epsilon in the first zero in the second i can generate zero epsilon here and one here i can generate one i can do all the permutation and combination and get these strings so the regular expression will be epsilon plus 0 plus 1 and epsilon plus 0 plus 1 i hope you got a feeling of how to generate regular expression there are different ways of generating regular expressions also if you like this video give me a thumbs up and share among your friends in our next video we are going to see adams theorem so see you then take care bye